So I got some Sunlu transparent resin in the test out and it actually came with some of these strainers, which is pretty cool. Now I'm gonna be printing this out on my Piapoli Phenom L and just loading this whole thing in and we're gonna be printing these wings and we're gonna take them from this to this, a transparent look. I thought it'd be better for wings, but you might've guessed it, this is gonna take some work. We are gonna be going through all of these sandpapers and then some. And please remember to wear a mask because this will create a crazy amount of dust. So we're going to start out with a 150 grit, which is pretty aggressive, but I think how I laid this out on my build plate, I had some serious layer lines going on, as you can see, so I'm using a coarser grit to really take those down before I start going to finer stuff. And of course, I wrap my stuff around a sponge like this because it really saves on my hands. And this is what I'm talking about with the dust. This is a crazy amount of dust. So I sort of clear it away, and we work to our 220. Now I'm spending the same amount of time on each side with each grit. Grip. We go to a 320, again, same amount of time, creating a lot of dust. I'm cleaning up as I go. 400, as you notice, these are all dry sandings. We are going to switch that pretty soon. Now we're at a 600, and it's time for me to clean up a little bit. So I sort of just wipe things away and clean it up because we're going to be going to our first wet sand. So I pour some water on it and on the sponge. And this is a thousand grit, which is very much like almost like paper. And we're going through again each side, everything, and now you're starting to see some progress. Then we move to a 1200 grit. Again, I'm adding some clean water every time. I'm cleaning off my work surface. We go to a 3000. Uh, I'm really excited at this point because it's like I can see right through it. We go to a 5000. And this is taking quite a bit of time, as you might guess. Again, cleaning up as we go. We're at a 7,000 now. And, you know, these things just keep getting higher. We go to 10,000. Again, I'm spending the same amount of time on each side. Now, the last sandpaper we're going to use is this 3 micron paper. And this stuff is like paper. I mean, <laughs> there was almost, I couldn't feel any grit to it whatsoever. I was just really amazed at what this stuff was like. Now we're going to go to, on to the polishing compound, and I used uh, the 3 micron paper. Uh, some places used a buffing rag, some people used this. I went ahead and used this because I had it. And super really happy with this. Transparent, looks great. I love how the veins turned out. I didn't even bother sanding them because they look like wings. Really happy. So I've got to say, I am super impressed with this Sunlu resin. You know, it's inexpensive. Uh, it cured really quite clear. It's not yellowed. Uh, I did cure this outside because uh, it was a nice sunny day. And again, once I put the work in, and you do have to put work in with any resin you're going to use, uh, I was able to get this pretty darn clear and translucent. These are going to make beautiful wings. Again, for the price, uh, the fact that it printed so easily on my Phenom, uh, and my Saturn and my Mars, uh, I will be definitely picking this up in the future. And again, these wings look super cool and I can't wait to show you the project that they are going to be used for. Not only did the resin do just a great job on these wings, uh, I printed a series of figures that I really can't wait to work on. These are the sort of uh, villains, Phantom Zone villains, villains from the Superman movie, the, the 1970s version. And it's, you know, Zod, Ursula, and um, Nog. And I think I've got that right. And they just came out really, really well. First print, no failure. The details are just pretty incredible. Uh, it is clear resin, so it's hard to see, like, just with uh, on camera. But uh, the facial details are all there. It is just perfect. I cannot wait to paint these things up and put them in this sort of diorama that I'm building. Um, it is a pretty cool model. More on these later. I'm just showing you for the, the resin itself. And again, for the price, you really can't beat this stuff. So again, if you're interested in picking up some of this fantastic resin, take a look at the links below. Use those. They are affiliate links. Uh, if you click on them, I do get a little bit of cash, which allows me to buy you probably guessed it, more more resin. <laughs> I always need more resin. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. I really appreciate it. If you liked the video, please click like, subscribe, hit the little bell, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks a lot.